Welcome back to Don't Get Me Started Podcast. Uh, Happy Monday. Yeah, or whatever day you listen. I know, it's currently Thursday <laughs> <laughs> when we're recording. But, but happy Monday. I know, yeah. I'm Heather. Um, I'm Abby. And we're your hosts. Hey. Is this episode 11? Yeah. That's crazy. 11 is a good number. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was born on the 11th. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I that's so significant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay how are we feeling today i'm okay, I'm okay. why tired, just okay Mom. yeah <sighs> why are you tired i don't know i'm just <laughs> tired <laughs> <laughs> yeah um i'm definitely tired too i was saying to people at work like i feel like last week we had a short week because mm-hmm. we had a long weekend and then four days and it was like good weather so yes. we were like basking and in the now, sun yes this week has been a full week and this air quality has just not been it i at know all. i know for those of you that don't know we uh live in connecticut and we've got like air pollution from the canadian the whole wildfires. tri-state area yeah like connecticut new york new jersey yeah. i even think boston might be affected yeah, a little bit a little yeah but yeah it's been like it's been painful to go outside and even inside has felt smoky yeah if you yeah whatever type of hvac system you have if mm-hmm. it's bringing in outdoor air it has been hurting my lungs so bad yeah i mm. i heard it was equivalent to smoking like three cigarettes a day or yeah. something i don't know if that's true but it has been not <laughs> been good for our lungs yeah. but um yeah, other than that, I literally, if you guys look at my notes right now, it says updates and it's blank. I'm <laughs> telling you, we did not record for three weeks and my life changed so much. And now that we're back to a normal schedule, my life is not, yeah. no updates. Uh, um, that stinks. So yeah, sorry to disappoint. That's okay. <laughs> I have a few. Okay, so one, I have a, a story to tell from Europe that mm-hmm. I forgot to tell last time. And so... This is also relating back to the bucket list episode. Uh-huh. I, if you haven't listened to that episode yet, yeah. you just Go. you don't really need to listen to our episodes in order, if I'm honest. Yeah. But like, if you're gonna listen to a different one other than this one, like if you're a new listener, listen to episode three. The three, the bucket list. Yeah, we refer back to it every single episode. Yes, since. I don't. It's just been like crazy things that have happened since then. It's just so many coincidences. Mm-hmm. But I was at a cafe in France, and. I think he was the owner of the store. Mm -hmm. We were, like, walking out, and he checked us out, and he was an older man. Checked us out as in, like, um... Rung you up. Like, rung you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not, like, a (laughs) creepy old man checking us out. But, basically, he asked us where we were from, and we said we were from America. And he said that, um, basically, like, the love of his life was from Minnesota or Michigan. Like, one of the M's. I forget which state he said. And he said um, it just wouldn't work because he didn't want to leave France and she didn't want to leave the States. Uh-huh. But um, she was like an artist and all this stuff. And then she said or he said that like her family was related to the family that like donated the Statue of Liberty. What? Or so, it was like a crazy coincidence. Yeah. Oh, I wish I could remember it. it that was literally so long ago. Uh-huh. But I was like, what are the odds that we meet this man? And he's like, yeah, I know the family that donated the Statue of Liberty. Yeah. It was so weird. Also, like, how does that, how does that come up in conversation? I don't like, know. It was so <laughs> random. I was yeah. like, I have to tell Abby about yeah. this on the podcast. Oh, my God. Yeah. And just for reference, if you haven't listened to episode three, one of Abby's bucket list, like, items was to go mm-hmm. to the Statue of Liberty. Yeah. And we've had so many, like, Statue of Liberty references. Since then. Since. I'm like, maybe they yeah. always happen and we've never paid attention to yeah. them. Yeah. Right? But, yeah, Heather pulled up um, an Instagram post yes. from last year where her sister Katie is posing, like, the Statue of Liberty because we were walking by, I think it was... Um, a restaurant called the liberty or something yes like that. in new and york because i was scrolling through your instagram because um sometimes for the instagram posts uh-huh. i like need pictures of us yeah. and there's only so many i can yeah. do from that we had like one photo shoot but we have to do more yeah um so i'm like sometimes i look for pictures of abby just like uh-huh. by herself and then i was scrolling through and wait and the caption of the post oh, said yeah. hags <laughs> yeah which i was the 
title of episode seven. Yeah. So it was just so many coincidences in that one post. I was like, yeah. no way. This, yeah. like, <laughs> this podcast was manifested before, before. We even, it was a twinkle in our eyes. Yeah. Um, and then an update. I started training for a half marathon this week. Mm-hmm. I was telling you a little bit before. Um, also your bucket list. Yes, which is also <laughs> a list on my bucket list. But it's been good. I've just been running like two. I ran two miles on Monday, mm-hmm. and then I ran like two and a half miles on Wednesday. But mm-hmm. I had to run inside because of the air quality. Yeah. Um, and then so I think I'm gonna try to run just like three times a week, mm-hmm. um, and do like a long run on the weekends. Nice. So either Saturday or Sunday. Yeah. Um, but it's getting back into running mm-hmm. is harder than I anticipated because. During COVID, I ran almost every single day. Yeah. Like, I don't know if you remember how yeah. much I ran. And then on one of my longer runs, I pulled a muscle. Do you remember when I, like, yeah. couldn't walk for, like, yeah. a month? Yeah. And you were like, Heather, have you tried foam rolling? Yeah. And I was like, no. And then you gave me your foam roller, uh-huh. and I foam rolled for literally two days, and it fixed it. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. you've got to be yeah, kidding me. Yeah. Like, how do you not own Yeah, one? I just, like... Yeah, yeah, I didn't own one. So I was limping for a month, and then <laughs> yeah. Abby gave me a foam roller. Anyway, so that was the last time I ran consistently, and I just, like, kind of thought I would pick it back up. Mm-hmm. But running two miles, was I was like, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so mm-hmm. running 13.1, I don't know. But I have till October, so yeah, I should be good by I then. have, like, no issue swimming two miles, but, like, running two miles, I'm like, Oh my yeah. god. Well, I don't even know. Mm. Like, I haven't swam. Like, you still consistently swim yeah. now, but I haven't swam since high school, so I don't know how I. I <laughs> literally think I would, I would drown. I know. <laughs> I two, miles, two miles. Two miles takes me like over an hour, and I know running is way quicker, but I just can't. I yeah. Can't. Well, at least swimming, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. um, and then my last update is mm-hmm. that I am in my cooking era again okay. i'm in my trying new recipes uh-huh. again follow um food by heb yes it's my other instagram <laughs> guys i literally run three instagrams heather and two tiktoks I'm heather like, so when did you start food by heb during covid okay yeah. 2020 she, i think it's like i started it around june time she tried to rebrand it and as health by heb and yeah. we were like no food by head yeah there was like i went through an identity crisis i think it was <laughs> i think it was last year because i was like i didn't want to post just recipes anymore because i was like i don't know i was just trying different things out with social Rebrand. media i think and then i was like i didn't love health by heb but i couldn't think of a different name and then it just didn't i tried it for like two months and i was like food eh, by heb i'm switching like- back <laughs> so yeah food by heb could you imagine i like Change it to health by hub and then food by hub like got taken or something. Yeah, that oh would have been so bad. Done it. <laughs> so funny. Change Just like taking these. <laughs> so you have to pay me for yeah, it. Yeah, that'd be crazy. But anyways, so, yeah. you're in your new recipe era. Oh yeah. So, um, because I feel like for a while before I left on my trip, I was still cooking, but I was doing like the same mm-hmm. recipes every week. Um, and also like when I moved back home with my mom she Mm -hmm. was cooking a lot so I just wasn't really like doing a lot or like trying new things but then I think when I went away it like inspired me to start cooking again Uh and stuff so yeah I'm really excited about that so yeah check out my Instagram I've been posting some new recipes but I tried well I so I have been making stir fry Mm -hmm. just like a basic chicken stir fry yeah for I think that was one of the first meals I ever tried Years, like, at my yeah. apartment, and it's you think it's so simple because you're like it's just like chicken rice and veggies. Yeah. But the sauce is like really and the flavor is hard uh-huh. to master. Like it's hard to keep the chicken from getting dry, and it's yeah. hard to keep the sauce from tasting like too soy saucy. Yeah. It's just like difficult. So the other day I, Gage and I like finally found a recipe that uh-huh. we liked and i'm nice. like oh my god so finally perfecting that yeah so i'm excited cool for summer recipes what's your next recipe that you want to make um i don't i don't know well okay last night we made uh t- 
teriyaki steak skewers. And that mm. was my first time ever cooking steak, which might be shocking because my favorite meal is literally steak and mashed potatoes. Yeah. But my dad always cooked it for me growing up. Yeah. So I just like never bothered. Yeah. Because I was like, my dad, always, whenever I would have steak, it would be made by my dad. Yeah. But I called him and asked him for his steak tip recipe. Yeah. And he gave it to me. And so we tried it, but we cooked it on um, skewers. Mm-hmm. So we did it with the steak pineapple cubes and then jalapeno Yummy. and then we were gonna do um like pepper and onion but yeah uh, do you know when like veggies you're they're just like one day you can't use them anymore. oh yeah I, the worst uh, so, like you don't even want to push it yeah, yeah so we couldn't use them and then i was like i don't want to go to the store now so yeah. we just did the pineapple and jalapeno and then when we grilled it i didn't really think this through because i'm I, even though I have a food account, I'm not, like, a, yeah. <laughs> a pro or anything. So the jalapeno, we didn't de-seed it or anything. Uh-huh. So the juices and, like, the spice, like, really seeped into the steak. So we went to eat it today, and it was, like, I have a pretty high spice tolerance, so it wasn't too, too bad for me. But Gage was, like, oh, like, he ate a whole jalapeno with the steak. And oh, it was, like, yeah. <laughs> it was, like that was so spicy. Yeah. yeah, he just wasn't expecting it. And then, like, after, he, we didn't eat the jalapenos anymore, and it was fine. Yeah. Like, still kind of spicy, but basically what I'm saying is we have to, like, master that a little bit. Because yeah. I thought the pineapple would kind of, like, balance out the spice, too. Yeah. But that also turned spicy from, from the, the all, jalapeno. like, the... Yeah. yeah, so everything was just, like, really hot. So... I want to, like, fix that one. Yeah. And then, I don't know. I kind of want to do, like, summer recipes. Mm-hmm. I kind of want to do, like, maybe a watermelon feta salad or something. Ooh. That would be cool. With mint? Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. So good. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, those are my updates. Cool. That's all I have. Oh, cool. Mm-hmm. And then today's episode, guys, is going to be all about mm-hmm. self-love and self-care. Yeah, very important. Mm-hmm. So I asked our Instagram, if you don't follow our Instagram, follow Don't Get Me Started Podcast mm-hmm. on Insta. But I asked um, on our story and got some responses. So I will read them aloud. So my question was... What are your self-care faves? Mm -hmm. So here are the responses I got. An everything shower, exfoliate, deep condition, face mask. It's literally takes an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. Nice one. Putting Mm -hmm. my phone on D&D when I feel overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. Nice. Line dancing. (laughs) Let's take a guess (laughs) who that one was. That one's my mom. Like, by the way, she's obsessed with line dancing. She has a line dancing business. Yes, she does. If you're in the CT area, you can follow Trisha MAR562, and she posts all about her line dancing mm-hmm. fitness classes that you could take. Um, anyway, sitting by a fire. Ooh, especially for one. summer. Good one. Coloring, specifically mm. with crayons. Mm. <laughs> I haven't colored in so long. That actually sounds so Me therapeutic. Either. Sweet treats, yum. Always mm-hmm. got to treat yourself. And then going out to get a coffee, going for a hot girl walk, listening to a podcast. Nice. Mm. Even yeah. like drinking the coffee on the walk, yeah. listening to a podcast. Yeah. Hopefully it's Don't Get Me Started podcast. Yeah, the trifecta. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But yeah, nice. Well, thanks everyone who sent in responses. Yeah. Those are good ones. Yeah. And then I think Abby and I are just going to talk about like, what self-care and self-love kind of like our thoughts on it and then at the end we'll go over like what we do yeah yeah so do you want to start sure sure um so well first heather this is a surprise Hmm. i have a self-love activity what (laughs) it's not that big of a deal (laughs) that you guys at home could play along to yeah um i didn't really think about all like i found this online while i was kind of searching up ideas guys Mm -hmm. but (laughs) um i have four questions okay that you could feel free to answer you don't have to answer i could answer and you guys at home could think about your answers okay great okay so the first question is what are you most proud of yourself for (laughs) Aw. <laughs> Are we going to cry every episode? Probably. <laughs> um, I think I'm honestly most proud of myself for, like, just following through 
with what I always told myself I was gonna do. Uh huh. Like when I was in middle school and high school, I just always was like, okay, you're gonna go to college, you're gonna get your degree, and then you're gonna be successful. And um, I just feel like I've accomplished that. Like, a Mm -hmm. lot earlier than I thought. Not that necessarily success means anything, like, I'm not super rich or, like, famous or anything. But I just feel like I'm I'm not, like, living paycheck to paycheck anymore. Yeah. Like, I just feel like I've made – well, the question was, what are you proud of yourself for? But I just feel like I've made myself proud. Yeah. Like, my past self. Nice. Like, I followed through with it. Yeah. Yeah, what about you? Um, Mine, I think, is my kindness. Aww. Yeah, I'm really proud of myself for that. And yeah. Trying to see all the good. Sometimes I don't, to be honest. But, mm-hmm. yeah, I feel like I'm a very kind person. Okay, yeah, so, you are. Yeah, thank nice. you. Thank you. All right, what moment... I don't... I wrote these questions down. I copied them, and I didn't put them i can't even speak i did not put that hey the foam roller (laughs) sorry (laughs) okay anyways (laughs) what moment in your life is your most happiness happy (laughs) wait say that again all right what moment in your life is your most happy (laughs) i don't when we most the happiest moment of my life yeah yeah oh that's a hard one um I could go. Yeah. My superficial answer is obviously being second row at Harry Styles because yeah. that I was like <laughs> oh, on a cloud and nine. Um, what's my non superficial answer? Um, I don't know. Okay, I have, I have like the happiest day of my life. I okay. vividly remember. Uh huh. Um, I was on vacation with my family and Abby Beamer's family. Mm-hmm. And we were in Punta Cana, mm-hmm. and we went on a catamaran boat, and it was, like, a beautiful day, and mm-hmm. we swam with sharks and stingrays. Whoa, that is a good day. I was 17. Yeah. But I've had, like, <laughs> happy days yeah. since then. Yeah. But when I think of, like, the best day of my life, yeah, like, that was it. Um, but I think, like, the happiest moment, Uh huh. I don't know. Yeah, I don't I've had a lot of, yeah, like, good moments. Like, one that clicks into my brain, and I don't know why, but um, this wasn't the best one in my life. No offense to everyone in this story, but it is a really good moment (laughs) that, like, I remember the feeling being like, oh, my God, like, that was a great day. Um, Was, it was June 2020, and me, Heather, her mom, and our friend Jocelyn went out for dinner. Oh, and my God. And it was, God. like, the first time we went to a restaurant yes. in, during COVID. Uh-huh. Since, like, COVID hit. And it was just, like, we were outside, and it just felt so normal. Yeah. I was, like, I was really, like beaming with smiles. That was, actually like, was such a good that day. That was such a Remember good day. Remember we saw our teacher? Yes. yes. Like, it was just, it felt, like, normal again. And, like, I remember, like, going home and being, like, Oh my yeah. god, like, I forgot that feeling. Yeah. So that was a really good moment. Oh, so. that is such a good one. Yeah. I honestly like can't but the happy that happy saved my life. Yeah. One that's counts. a good one. Yeah. I was gonna say graduating college, but that's like so superficial. Yeah, and honestly that day was like so hot. I was like not the best moment <laughs> of my life. So <laughs> yeah okay um the next one is um i put like me but that's why i think this grammar is messed up um who inspires you and how do they impact your life oh that's a good one i think my mom inspires me a Mm. lot um i don't know she just i've just like seen because i feel like when you are like younger you don't really appreciate Mm -hmm. like what your parents do for you at Mm -hmm. all because you I don't know like I don't know if that's everyone or if that was just me but I just feel like I didn't like appreciate like what my mom did and now that I'm older and like I just see her in a different perspective and we're like really close um I just see that she has like she's just so independent and Mm -hmm. like she paves a good life for herself Mm -hmm. and she's also like has her own side business and like as a teacher and stuff so yeah i would say her oh and she teaches me that like family is really important yeah yeah nice what about you um mine i always said this as an answer and my explanation will make more sense 
I always say the person who inspires me most is myself because like Aww. I will like do something and like <clears throat> push myself and be like, oh my god, like I cannot believe I just yeah, did that. Yeah, that's and, like, perfect for our self love episode. Yeah, and like push myself to be like a better person. And if yeah. I'm like, oh my god, I just tackled like A B, I could tackle A B C now. Yes, like, and push myself. So Aww, yeah. I like that a lot. Thanks. Yay. And then my last one is, um, what are five things that make you smile? Ah, okay. Um, music. Mm hmm. Food. Mm hmm. My friends and family. Mm hmm. Um, like making people laugh. Uh huh. And the beach. Okay. <laughs> Mine are like a little bit more specific. <laughs> one is... Oh, you had time to prepare. <laughs> yeah. One is like when you walk into a bathroom and it smells good. I'm like, Ooh. oh, yes. That is a good yes. one. <laughs> um, another one is when you get hot coffee and you let it sit. And when mm. you take the first sip, it's like the perfect temperature. Yes. You're like, yes. Yes. Um, another one is when you get gas at night and then you like wake up in the morning and you just smile. Oh, you're, you're like, thank God I like, did that. Yes. <laughs> thank God I did that. <laughs> 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 it's so bad. Another one is when you don't have sunglasses and the sun's in your eyes, but you pull down the visor and it and like, you're bl- like, it's like the perfect, <laughs> like blocking the exact like sun. Yes. And then I forget what my last one was, but another thing that makes me smile, um, I don't know. This podcast. Yeah. <laughs> listening to this podcast. Oh, <laughs> uh, good. Yeah. And so not to get into the actual meat of the episode. Mm-hmm. The meat and um, potatoes. <laughs> yeah. The steak and potatoes. Um, so I think with like the topic of self love, I think it's like hard to take your own advice because Mm -hmm. when your friend is like lacking it and you're giving them support, like I say these things that I don't, I never follow myself. Like Mm -hmm. I just, whatever, even though I inspire myself, um, I also don't listen to myself a lot. Um, and for me, it like gets to the point where like, I just sweep things under the rug Mm -hmm. until like I am sober out. Like I'm physically sick Mm -hmm. for days. Oh my God. Yeah. And like, I can't even like have a conversation with anyone like i just completely my body my emotions just shut down so i'm trying to get better at that and like treating Mm -hmm. myself when i need to instead of just waiting until like i boil over yeah um so yeah so some things that have helped me with this and that i think is what i'm trying to implement i'm not 100 percent, so it's not what i do yet but i'm trying to implement is um celebrating my achievements like Mm -hmm. like i would i would try not to like celebrate unless i was like doing something big and like something like life changing but like you anything you do that you do a good job at you should be happy like yeah i folded my laundry like yes Yes. let's go like celebrating your achievements no matter how big or how small small. it doesn't have to be like i don't know you're well you did just get a new job but it doesn't have to be that it could be like I, yeah, you woke up like 10 minutes earlier or yeah. something or like you read before bed instead of yeah. going on your phone or something yeah, like that. Yeah, something like that. Um so yeah. Um another one is um to wear clothes that make me feel good. Like Ooh. who cares? I don't care what I look like anymore. Um like if I want to wear it, I want to wear it. Nice. Um and then the big one for me is to step away from toxic people. Like if yeah. people aren't bringing you up, if they're no offense to anybody, but if you aren't benefiting my life, like yes, I, I completely I'm kind of just like okay, it, yeah. pointless now. And it's kind of like okay, we're adults now, and it's yeah. like we don't need to like be around people that we don't want to be around. Yeah, like I remember in high school. Oh my god, it was just and like we had a great friend group. We're still friends. Yeah, but like I just remember there'd always be so much drama, and like yes, around even if, everything. Yeah, around everything, and even if we weren't in the drama, like I was just like loved being involved yeah. like hearing about the drama and now i'm like you gotta like, protect your peace yes yeah. and like when um my swimmers like tell me that their friends are being bad i'm like bro leave them but yes. like in high school me it's i would have been like hard because it's so you're hard in, like yeah. one tight-knit environment yeah. so sometimes it's like you can't it's like be friends with those people who are like eh, or like don't have any yeah. friends and, and I, it's like hard to 
decide. Like, our friend group is, like, an exception. I feel like nobody ever stays friends with their high school yeah, friends. Yeah, or people... I've seen people stay friends with, like, one, maybe yeah. two people. But, yeah, we got really lucky. So, I know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then my last one, which I'm sure you'll probably talk about, too, Heather. Mm-hmm. Um, stop comparing yourself. Like... Yeah, I did. You're I did never going to... You're your own person. You're never, ever, ever going to be who you want to be. Like, mm-hmm. who you compare yourself to. It's just... It's just a matter of fact. Yeah. So. And I feel like with comparison, it's like, why are you comparing yourself? And it's like, would you... I Somebody else on a podcast that I listened to said this, and I really liked how they said it. But, like, if... Say you are comparing yourself to uh, another girl. Say, like, you want her body, for example. Mm-hmm. And it's like, okay, if you want her body, but do you want everything else do you want yeah. her parents do you want her friends do you want to move into her home do you want to like her degree do you yeah. want like everything all of her insecurities everything she struggles with like do you do you want to yeah. give up every single thing you have for that and then yeah. your answer will obviously be no yeah like, you like, don't want to sac- literally give up everything she might have everything you want but is she funnier than you no <laughs> that's like what i say i'm like well i'm probably funny you want her personality <laughs> absolutely <laughs> not yeah. <laughs> so yeah no i like that one and mm-hmm. it's like if you compare this is such a cheesy quote but comparison's literally the thief of joy mm. and you have to be content with yourself and like even if you see people doing something that you want to be doing like you can turn that jealousy into like a mindset where mm-hmm. if you see okay that's possible for someone else like that means it's possible for me and yeah. turn it into like a law of attraction thing mm-hmm. and just like a motivation to work harder not like discouraging yourself because yeah. you're you literally can't change like who you are mm-hmm. like you are stuck with yourself like whether you you are nice to yourself or whether you're mean to yourself so, like you might as, might well, as well be nice, nice. yeah yeah exactly but i like that a Thanks. lot um so yeah i wrote down a couple thoughts too i wrote like similar things to what you said so putting yourself before others emotionally socially physically mm-hmm. is like super important um like i think just if that means like you want to stay in on a night all your friends are going out like you don't need to hold them back and have them not go or have them not go out but like you can just be like i need a night in like you guys go have fun yeah. and like they should be okay and um like emotionally the same thing like if your friend comes to you with like struggles but you are personally struggling like it's okay to set those boundaries and be mm-hmm. like i just need a minute like can we talk tomorrow or mm-hmm. something um and kind of just like put your well-being before other people because that's like like you said, like, you don't want to burn yeah. yourself out and spreading yourself too thin. Um, and then I also think self-love is, like, doing things that you like mm-hmm. and not just doing things because other people think it's cool. This is, like, such a cheesy example, but I know, like, in high school or college, sometimes I would listen to music mm-hmm. because I, like, the music I would listen to would be because I thought it was, like, what other people were listening to. Yeah. But now I feel like I've branched out into just listening to music that I like. And, like, yeah. I don't care if other people like it because yeah. I like it. So yeah. who cares? Um, and then I wanted to talk about, like, self-help books. Mm-hmm. Because during COVID, um, I don't know if I've ever talked about this on the podcast, but I did something called 75 Hard where I had to read – 10 pages of like a self-help book every day Mm -hmm. so I ended up reading like five or six self-help books that summer and I would say like they were they're helpful for a positive mindset but self-help is like don't confuse that with self-love because I think a lot of times self-help books like they have good intentions but they almost like when you're reading them you read it from the perspective that you need to like change everything about your life yeah. and like you're like a project that needs to be worked on which mm-hmm. like you shouldn't think of yourself like that um so I just like I had that thought when I was writing about this episode because I was like that whole time I was reading those books I literally thought I was starting from nothing I was mm-hmm. like I have to do this and this and this and this like to be successful and to be happy but mm-hmm. like if you take a step back and realize like you're probably like 70 percent of the way there you Mm -hmm. just have to maybe make like little tweaks like you don't have to change everything about you to like 
change your mindset basically Mm -hmm. um and then another thing that helps me is like if I'm feeling overwhelmed a lot of the times I what really helps is like writing down my thoughts because Mm -hmm. sometimes I'm like so overwhelmed or emotional and I'll be like okay why am I so overwhelmed and I don't know so I'll literally take my journal and write down like why am I overwhelmed Mm -hmm. and then I'll just start writing about my day and then I'll just my thoughts will start flowing and then things will make sense and I'll be like okay Mm -hmm. this is why I'm overwhelmed like this is what I can do to fix it and Mm -hmm. then it helps so I feel like just taking that time literally like the 30 minutes maybe at the end of the day or in the morning and just reflecting on like your feelings and checking in with yourself is really helpful yeah um yeah and then the last thing I had on like self-care and self-love is like everything should be out of feeling good and I talk a lot about this on like my TikTok too and like food by head but if you like put forward the thought of just like wanting to feel good Mm -hmm. everything in your life will fall into place Mm -hmm. like if you are working out or like cooking or whatever because you want to feel good like you'll want to do it more yeah like doing things like I don't know over exercising or I don't even know, like, reading a book that you don't like just because you think that you should, should basically, reading, yeah. is, like, it's not sustainable mm-hmm. and it's not fun. Like, why would you want to live a life that you don't like? Like, you will like, f- if you um, find things that you like and make you feel good, you'll want to keep doing them mm-hmm. and then you'll feel good all the time. Mm-hmm. If that, like, obviously, everyone will have their moments, but um, just, like, don't do things because you see on social media or you see other people yeah um that you think are like doing i don't know quote unquote better than you doing it Mm -hmm. so nice yeah yeah okay do you want to go over things that you do yes okay yeah so um i when i was 16 i started working and i would work like crazy i felt like i was always working in like high school and even in college i was working a lot um, I had the practice of retail therapy, which is like good and yes. still helpful, except when I would spend so much money, I would then get stressed about mm-hmm. spending so much money and mm-hmm. then I'd go out and spend more money. It was just this huge cycle. So I mm-hmm. feel like last summer it was bad, but then I like started to slowly get out of it. Okay. So I'm like, okay, thank God. Like, so now I have a couple other things I do. Um, one is make time, what, make time for the things that I want to do. Okay. Um, so like two weeks ago I had texted Heather and I was like, Hey, do you want to go for a hike? And yeah. she was like, um, her and her sister already planned on going on a walk and her sister had to go somewhere. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, I was like, no, it's okay. Like, yeah, don't worry about it. I'm going to go on a hike. You guys go on a walk. Uh-huh. Like I wanted to go on a hike. So I went on a hike. Yeah, like, like you don't have to have to go with people. Yeah, like, if you want to do it, you can do, do it, it. Yeah, and like don't feel like you have to comp what you're doing for other people. Like you said, like mm-hmm. put yourself before other people. Mm-hmm. And then um, my next one is say no. Like yes. you don't have to spread yourself so thin. You don't have to be this person who's always out and about like like mm-hmm. you said if my friends are going out and i want to stay in i'm gonna say ah, i think i'm gonna stay home mm-hmm. tonight and like your friends will understand and like if i if i was like i want to hang out with you guys but i don't want to go out i would voice that opinion but yeah. like if i really don't want to go and i don't want to hold you guys back like yeah just say no just say no you don't have to do everything mm-hmm. um like somebody said in our Instagram, put my phone down. Um, yeah. And just, like, first off, I don't have anyone to talk to. I'm like, my friends understand, yeah. so. I need, I have to confess, I need to get better at putting my phone I've down. I've been good with it. So. I, like, since, um, I don't know, I just, like, have been posting on our podcast, Instagram, yeah. and TikTok, and then on, like, my own personal ones. I just, like, sometimes go through these spurts where I get so obsessive and I check. Yeah. Like, have we got more followers? Like, have Uh we got this? And I I literally need to be honest with myself and just slow my roll. Like, I don't – I need to figure out – I need to break the habits of checking because I'll check, like, 
every 10 minutes at work. I'm just uh-huh. like, oh, let me check, let me check. So I, like, really need to get better at that. So that's yeah. my goal <laughs> for this week. For Yeah, and, like, the, the way I put it into perspective is, like, the most urgent text I get where I should be on my phone right away is, like, someone, like... Like today, you asked me if I ate dinner and if I, I wanted food when you were picking it up. Or like someone's at my someone at my house is at the store and they're texting me if I need anything. Like I don't get urgent texts. Like I don't need to yeah, be on my phone twenty four seven. And I thought about it. I'm like I don't need my phone in front of me at all times in case mm. something happens. Like yeah, it I, can wait. That's I need that mindset. Yeah, because it's, I f- it I took feel me like I'm, so long. I'm, I always have my phone because I'm like, what if I'm like, what if Abby texts me something or like. If I'm not with Gage, I'm like, what if he texts me it something? It can wait. Or what if my mom texts me something? Yeah. And, yeah, you're so yeah. right. Like, it could wait. It could wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. I get so anxious about it. Yeah, I, don't, no, I, I, I totally... Yeah. Had it. This started, like, a month ago for oh, me. Okay. And I'm like, it can wait. It's not... Nothing yeah, is so urgent. You're so right. Like, when's the last time you got an urgent text that you had to respond to right away because it was life or death? When we got Harry Styles. Too. Oh, yeah. Well, that. That wasn't even. No, it was. You guys didn't even need to respond. Yeah, that's I just need true. to be on the computer. But um, honestly, that's so true. <laughs> I've never got like a life <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's so fair. Um, A couple others. Music. <clears throat> obviously, I love music and I'll put it on mm-hmm. and I will like cert- if I'm feeling a certain mood i'll like search up a playlist for that mood okay nice. um and listen to it um spend time with friends definitely after like a long day where i just want to mm. like decompress and know where i'm gonna laugh um for me this is like a good thing and bad thing um when i'm like super stressed i like organizing and cleaning mm-hmm. but like I'll be so stressed. I'll pull everything out of my closet because I want to reorganize. And by the time it gets out of my closet, I'm like, okay, I I feel better. But Mm -hmm. now I'm stressed again because all these clothes are here. So it kind of like sends me in a cycle. So that one's like so, so. Um, I do that too. I'll like want to organize and then an hour into it, I'll get tired and I'm like. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) And then, yeah. So I'm I'm like, like, okay, now it's half organized. Yeah. I like started like dusting and stuff, stuff that it's okay if I stop halfway through. (laughs) That's smart. Um, And then my last one, which has had the most impact on my life recently is just letting go of the past, like, Mm -hmm. and having this mentality, like what's supposed to be will be like, if something bad happens, that was just supposed to happen mm-hmm. for some like reason. Like living in the present. Yeah, living in the present and just taking, rolling with the punches life gives you. Okay, and so it's I definitely, like that. Yeah, it's definitely helped me, like, get, not not even self-care, but, like, has avoided me from getting anxious or stressed about something. Mm-hmm. Like, whatever happens just happens. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's, like, my main self-care. Nice. <laughs> okay, I have some like smaller bullets and then I have like three mm-hmm. uh I guess like mindset ones at the end but things I do for self-care are I love to go on a walk mm-hmm. like if I need to clear my head just go on a walk um and then I kind of talked about this in one of the other episodes but um finding workouts you like like I've been loving uh-huh. going to spin mm-hmm. um like I know you've like been doing swimming mm-hmm. so it's like finding what you don't have to do like we said, what everybody else does. Like, mm-hmm. find what you like. Um, and then romanticize running errands. Mm. Like, if you have to go to the grocery store yeah. or, um, I don't know, like, if you have to go to Home Depot or yeah. I don't know what other stores you have to go to. I can't think of them at the moment. Mm-hmm. But make it a moment. Like, get ready. Like, you could put your hair in a little clip and, yeah. like, put on an outfit you like yeah. and stuff. And, like make a list and Mm -hmm. walk and i don't know just yeah make it a moment like not everything has to be rushed and like don't think of it as a chore this might be the retail therapy talking but i like love when i have to go to like four stores yes i'll either i'll like go to a mall and the plaza across the street or something Mm -hmm. i like love running especially by myself yes i love doing it by myself i hate running errands with people i like going by myself Putting in my AirPods yes. and just strutting uh-huh. my stuff. Same. <laughs> um, and then cooking. Mm-hmm. I talked about that before. Watching TV mm-hmm. uh, is an act of self care. Mm-hmm. Like it's. I don't really think it's laziness. Like watching TV or watching YouTube yeah, no. or something to wind down. Um, cleaning my space. Like we said, I need to get better at reading. 
like I have been slacking mm-hmm. on reading lately. Um, and then, yeah, uh, scrolling on Pinterest, like, mm. to get more inspired. Yeah. I really like doing um, shopping. Mm-hmm. I need to go shopping for summer so badly. Going to the beach, going to a coffee shop, um, or honestly, now that it's summer, just, like, laying on my deck and getting vitamin D yeah. is, like, one of my favorite things. <clears throat> and then journaling and, like, this helped me a lot when I was yeah. in the period of my life when I was, like, really insecure and, like, struggling with, like, ex- self-acceptance mm-hmm. was journaling and writing, um, like, positive affirmations. Even though it's so cheesy and, like, you see everyone doing it. Yeah. Just writing down things that you want to think about yourself and you want other people to think about you um, really helped me. And then the last three things I have are gratitude mindset over comparison mindset Mm -hmm. so like if you are constantly thinking about all the things that you're grateful for Mm -hmm. you won't have time to think about the things that you don't have because you'll be like so consumed Mm -hmm. in gratitude um and then release the pressure from yourself to be productive all the time Mm -hmm. i think has really helped like give yourself permission to rest and like if you are resting because your body needs rest and like you're tired and you need to recharge that's not being lazy yeah and like there's no like feeling guilty isn't a form of rest so if you're like relaxing but you're just feeling guilty about it the whole time it's not gonna help Mm -hmm. anything and you're not gonna feel rested because you're gonna be consumed with guilt so those are like my last two things combined into one but yeah just like it's okay to slow down and yeah. just enjoy life. And like you said, be present mm-hmm. in the moment. You don't have to be doing a million things all the time. And like, it's okay. Th- life will go on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's the main thing. Life yes. will go on. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. I really need to adopt that mindset <laughs> for my phone. Like life will go on if yeah. I don't answer a text. So, Yeah. So today's long story short is going to be put yourself before others and be present in the moment Mm -hmm. because that honestly is what self-care and self-love is all about Mm -hmm. is just putting yourself first and feeling good in your own skin. Yeah, nice, happy boy. Mm -hmm. (laughs) All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for listening. Um, Like we said, follow us on Instagram and our TikTok. I know. We're up to like... 30? 30 something followers Woo! i know um both are don't get me started pod um follow heather and i's personal instagrams too mm-hmm. heather brown two w's abby walsh two underscores yep make sure you guys like this and rate us five stars on whatever you listen to um it helps promote our page a little I bit know. and yeah. if you guys are feeling generous you can share your favorite episode on your instagram story we yes. would really really appreciate it to and get the word out tag us too uh-huh um but yeah thank you so much for listening mm-hmm. we appreciate it so much you guys are our besties yeah <laughs> we'll have to come up with a name for our listeners one day yes if anybody has any ideas let us know let us know <laughs> dm us yes yeah <laughs> email us <laughs> <laughs> we do have an email Click the link in our bio yeah our link tree yeah. All right. Well, but, okay. Thank you Thanks so for much. Listening. Talk to you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.